Built in 1876, North Perrant Manor in Somerset was the home to the Hoskins family until the Second World War. Since then, the manor was transformed into Perrot Hill Prep School, where a strong family atmosphere remains. Robin Ross visited the school to see how the immersive and inclusive teaching experience is propelling students both personally and academically. Every day at this award-winning prep school in Somerset, children are immersed in a world of academic study, the arts, sport and boarding. Hands-on science lessons are not for the faint-hearted. How many blood vessels go into and out of the heart? Perrot Hill has recently been named Pre-Prep of the Year, having previously been shortlisted for Prep School of the Year. It was praised for its family atmosphere and the way children are encouraged to help one another. The older pupils help the younger children with their learning. It helped me read better because um, I learn more words. Coming here, it's not like going to school, it's more going home because I feel that parents are family, not really school. There is a strong sense of family and community and that's a very important part for all of us at Perrot Hill. Um, the children benefit hugely from the small class sizes and the individual attention and it helps them to make accelerated progress. Jenny Bolter has two children attending the school, Harry in Year 5 and Milo in reception. Harry, when he started, he didn't really speak to anyone for about a year and he has blossomed as exactly the right way to describe it. He was um, has played leading parts in... Um, school plays. He did a public speaking uh, competition last week that he volunteered to do and um, it's amazing. You wouldn't think it was the same child. Milo had no problem settling in. So tell me, what do you love about the school? What's your favourite part? Fish and chips. This is the Gurundi Hall, named after the founding headmaster. When the school opened back in 1946, he aimed to create a family atmosphere. This is Bill Grundy and his wife, Nora. They arrived at what was then the North Perrot Manor in 1940, when Felton Fleet School in Surrey was evacuated during the Second World War. Upon Felton Fleet's return to Surrey, Mr and Mrs Grundy decided to stay in North Perrot, and Perrot Hill was born. The school opened the doors in 1946 with just 19 pupils. This archive footage is narrated by Bill Grundy. Because of the war, there were shortages of all sorts of things, and the outfitters still couldn't get enough material for complete school uniform for everybody. After all these years, their son is still a regular visitor to the school. It's keeping up with the times over the last 20 years, you know, the introduction of computers and IT, which everybody takes for granted now, the central part, but not losing touch with the creative side, the standard of drama and art. Delighted also that they now have pupils coming in from France, Spain and elsewhere, I believe. And I'm delighted that my name is still associated with it. Previous headmasters have settled here with their families. Alex joins the tradition. It feels as though you are part of a special community. So in that sense, it extends beyond just, um, just working here. Um, I live on site. My wife is head of early years and fully involved in pre-prep. My two children are in the middle of the school, so we are fully immersed in, in the life here. The school has a lot to sing about. Senior pupils have been awarded 83 scholarships over the past five years in recognition of musical, academic, artistic and sporting talent. Whilst scholarships aren't the be all and end all, I often think they are an indicator of how well the school is doing. And it's about tapping into a child's potential at an early stage. Pupils are also encouraged to think for themselves. They sent a weather balloon up into space to collect data and images. It was their idea and they raised the sponsorship. It kind of allowed us to um, kind of explore our activity programme and do something a little bit different um, and think outside of the box. It's just really amazing. They, like the way they teach, it's the way you want them to teach. For many, boarding at the school is a real home from home. As well as the school's boarders, which are made up of both UK and overseas pupils, weekly and flexi boarding is becoming more and more popular. Perrot Hill's flexible approach to this new trend saw them shortlisted for the Boarding Innovation Award at the BSA Awards, the only standalone prep school in the category. These moments together build bonds beyond school hours and friendships that are likely to last a lifetime.